Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of April 27th through May 3rd. I am using this Erin Condren planner for memory planning purposes. It's more of a journal for me than it is a traditional planner and I've really come to enjoy this process. So for this week I have a really pretty kit. This is from Jackson Pepper and I just picked this up um, very recently and I think I just shared it in a haul video. Um, it's called Simple Life and I just feel like this message is really appropriate for this current quarantine period. Um, the quote box here says keep life simple, which is pretty much what I've been doing for the last two months. And I will say, you know, I think I'm starting to get into a routine and just starting to embrace this slower pace of life. But anyways, um, this kit is in a hollow foil. Um, I don't own a lot of hollow foiled icons, so I'm probably going to be pulling in some silver icons instead. And on this first page, we have the eight full boxes and then a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar as well as some bow headers here at the bottom. This next page has some circle icons. We've got text stickers, a weekend banner, a hydration box, which I don't track water, so I probably won't use that. It comes with three habit trackers, some foiled little things. And on this side, we have bow checklists, flags, and the circle with a little bow inside. And then this next page has the headers. We've got half boxes and quarter boxes. This last page here has the bottom washi. We've got a set of date covers. I think these are vertical flags. You can kind of see the bottom it has like the flag cut out and then we've got a set of washi strips and some arrows here with lazy day day off and a bow um, this kit definitely comes with quite a lot of stickers and I haven't used a kit from Jackson Pepper in quite some time so I'm really excited to jump right in I'm going to be placing down my bottom washi first and then I will continue working from there for my bottom washi this week, in addition to the washi that came in the kit, I also decided to pull in some Simply Gilded Bow Washi for this spread. I realized that it has been a while since I've used any Simply Gilded in my planner, so um, I really wanted to pull that in. This one actually is in a hollow foil, so it matched the spread really nicely, and I actually received it as a gift from a planner friend, um, so I had just like a little sample of it. That's why you see it not on a roll, and it's just kind of like getting everywhere, but I'm really thankful that I got it as a gift and was able to use it for this particular week. So moving to my sidebar, I first placed down the quote box in the top corner, then I used the silver foiled April script sticker that's from Art Box Stickers, and then underneath the full box I put down a washi strip just to divide the full box from the rest of the sidebar. I pulled in a habit tracker to track my working out, and that script sticker is in my writing and it's from Planner Just For You. I then placed down the foiled this week header and I used a bow checklist to mark my happy moments. And then at the very bottom, I put down the foiled dinners header and used the Monday through Sunday box that came in the kit to track my dinners for the week. I then placed down all of my date covers and I found some silver foiled um, date dots from my leftovers collection. I believe those are from URU Co. And once I'm done with all that, I go ahead and start on Monday. For Monday, I first placed down a foiled bow header at the very top, and those came in the kit. I then used this really pretty silver foiled um, flag sticker that I got from Art Box Stickers, and it matched the kit really nicely. And um, the quarantine script sticker I just pulled in is again in my writing, and it's from Planner Just For You. I use that to just mark the current week of quarantine that we were on for this particular week. I had some coffee on Monday morning, so I put that on a quarter box, and the foiled coffee script sticker is from um, my leftovers collection so unfortunately I don't remember which shop that's from. The weather was really nice on Monday so I decided to take my laptop and work outside for a bit. The laptop sticker is from Tickled Pink Planning. I was really excited to pull those in because I don't get to use them very often and I thought they match this spread really well. I had an IEP meeting that afternoon, so I decided to mark that using a full box and I also pulled in this foiled IEP flag from Jador Planning. I managed to do a workout on Monday, so I put that on a half box, and the workout girl sticker is from Thule Plans, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get to the point in quarantine where it's been really, really hard to work out, so I've been trying to figure out a new system that might help me a little bit better, but um, we'll just kind of have to see. At the end of the night, I watched Gilmore Girls and painted my nails, so I used this nail polish icon from Planning Like a Pro. Moving on to Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I moved to the top to continue um, working on the day chronologically. So I first used a washi strip with the silver foiled Today script sticker that's from Art Box Stickers, and then I used an arrow sticker from the kit to mark a morning meeting. 
I then moved back down and started building the spread from the bottom up because I wanted to see how much space I had to mark things that happen in the day. So the first thing is on top of the full box, I put down a bow header and then I used a quarter box with the shopping bag sticker from Tickled Pink Planning to mark that I had ordered some new clothes from Nordstrom and they came in that day. So I was really excited to try everything on that night. I then used a flag from the kit with another workout time sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I also did a workout that day and then above that I used a quarter box or I'm sorry I think it's like a washi strip with this silver foiled bow from Hazel sticker to mark that I had to braid my hair for a virtual costume party that night. I had a couple other meetings for work so I decided to cut up a heart checklist that I had in my leftovers collection and I pulled in the silver foiled notebook from Hazel sticker. Moving back to the bottom, on the full box, I marked that my friends and I did a virtual Harry Potter costume party via Zoom, and the rule was that we weren't allowed to be any of the major characters, and so I decided to dress up as Bellatrix Lestrange, who is absolutely my favorite villain. I don't know what it is about her, but I just really like her, and so um, yeah, that was my costume, and that Harry Potter Maru sticker is from Paper and Milk. On Wednesday, I first started by placing down a work header at the very top, then I used a full box, and because there was a ton of empty space on that full box, I decided to pull in this silver foiled post-it sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark a morning meeting that I had, and that really gorgeous pen sticker I pulled in is from Planning Like a Pro. I then had to pick up some paperwork at my work site, so this was actually my first time going into the work building since March 13th, which is really crazy, and I used a half box and a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that. On the way home, I grabbed some boba for me and my boyfriend, so I used a silver foiled boba date sticker that's from Randy.Plans, and the um, boba icon, I believe, is from Paper Bear Co. I marked what I had for lunch that day on the quarter box and the silver foiled utensil sticker is from Hazel Sticker. And then I did have an IEP meeting that afternoon. So I used another silver foiled IEP flag from Jador Planning. There wasn't a lot of space left to mark the rest of the day, but I think luckily I didn't really do anything on Wednesday evening anyway. Um, so I just pulled in a washi strip and used a camera sticker from Happy Sherpa Papery to mark that I filmed a plan with me. And the brush lettering pen that I'm using is from Pilot. That is it for Wednesday, so I go ahead and move on to Thursday. I first started by placing down a today header at the very top, and then I cut up a bow checklist from the kit into three bows to mark three meetings that I had on Thursday. To mark another IEP meeting I had that afternoon, I decided to cut down and layer a couple strips of the bottom washi to create kind of like a background, and then I put down another IEP flag from Jador Planning to mark that meeting. I then pulled in the bow header and a full box in the middle of Thursday, and that was the only full box that didn't have like space in the middle where I could write something on it, so I decided to use it in the center of the week on Thursday. I then put down a little things to mark that one of my friends dropped off a chai tea latte for me and it was just a really thoughtful gesture from her that I really appreciated. And instead of working out that day, I decided to walk to Target to grab some things that I needed. Um, I used a quarter box and that shoe sticker is from Hazel Sticker. When I got home, I video chatted with one of my friends that night. So I pulled in the silver foiled bow that's from Planning Like a Pro and the video chat sticker is in my writing and that's from Planner Just For You. On Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then I put down another post-it note from Hazel Sticker to mark that Friday was a pretty busy day. Um, I felt like that one full box had a lot of green in it, and so I decided to use that post-it sticker to kind of break up some of that color. Then I used a quarter box with a foiled script sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my three meetings on Friday. And um, Fridays used to be like my favorite days, but um, in quarantine, Fridays have actually been pretty challenging for me in terms of my emotional and just like my mental health that day. Um, I tend to be in a pretty crappy mood on Friday afternoons because I think usually I get so excited for the weekend and to go out and do things with friends and the realization every Friday that that's not happening, um, I think is just kind of tough for me. So I decided to mark my crappy mood using a flag sticker and this annoyed girl from Paper Bear Co. Continuing with the day, I used a bow header and a quarter box um, to mark my workout, and I pulled in this little dumbbell sticker, which unfortunately is from a shop that's no longer open. On Friday night, we watched A Star is Born. Um, I've been trying to watch a new movie every month, so this was our movie for May, and it was really good. I really enjoyed it, and that silver foiled heart is from Hazel Sticker. 
For the weekend, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom of Saturday, then I moved to the top and initially I placed down the weekend banner just straight across, but I realized that it was cut just a little bit too short so it didn't fit like across Saturday and Sunday. Um, so what I decided to do was to cut it into a flag. I think that ended up working out okay. Um, so for Saturday, I started by having a Dalgona coffee in the morning. I used a flag sticker from the kit and a silver foil drink from Hazel Sticker. I then learned a new song on the piano because I found the sheet music for it and to mark it I used one of the circle icons from the kit and that really cute piano sticker is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. I then placed down a few boxes for the rest of the day because I wanted to space things out and I tend to do that when I need to see like what I can mark in the day. Um, so on the quarter box I used another bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I watched a lot of Gilmore Girls on Saturday and then I decided to take a walk to the post office in lieu of an actual workout and it was like I think three and a half miles there and back so it was definitely quite a good walk. Initially I used this Happy Mail sticker that's from the Sticker Jungle um, but later I found a foiled happy mail sticker so I decided to use that one instead. On the full box at the bottom, um, I marked that we did game night with a couple of our friends. We found a website where you can actually play um, some board games and card games virtually, so we did that and it was really fun. The icon sticker I pulled in is from Paper and Milk. That was it for Saturday, so I go ahead and move on to Sunday. So for Sunday, the first thing I did was place down a bow header at the very top, and I used a full box underneath that. Um, on Sunday morning, I decided to make some breakfast. I don't usually eat breakfast because I try to intermittent fast as much as possible, um, but on Sunday, I just kind of was in a really good mood and wanted to make something delicious. So I made a pork belly hash, and that icon is from Paper Bear Co. I then used an Aaron's header and I cut up another bow checklist into three bows so that I could mark some places that I went to grab some groceries. And this is where I switched out that Happy Mail sticker for this silver foiled one. And I think that's from um, Saucy Stickers Co. When I got home, I did a ton of cleaning. So I decided to use a flag sticker from the kit and this adorable cleaning girl from Paper Bear Co. to mark that. And then underneath that, I used a little things to mark what I made for dinner. At the end of the night, I edited a plan with me. So to mark that, I used this hexagon foiled sticker. I think that's also from Saucy Stickers Co. I got like a little foiled sampler from her. So I did pull some different things in and that pretty much concludes my week. Um, so now I'm just moving back to my sidebar and tracking all my workouts, my happy moments and my dinners. I really only did three workouts this week instead of four to five like I've been trying to do. So if you have any ideas or tips for um, workout motivation, please let me know because I definitely am in dire need of that right now. Now. Um, now I'm just showing you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit and I do have quite a bit left over even though it's kind of a small kit and as always I'm just doing a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that's in this spread as a whole and then now I'm just walking you guys through these spreads so you can get a closer look at all of the details and the foiling I think it's just a better way for you guys to see how this spread turned out um, so anyways that is pretty much it for this week I hope you guys enjoyed this um, I really love the kits from Jackson Pepper they're always super super elegant and super gorgeous. So I would definitely recommend her shop if you guys are looking for kits. And yeah, that's pretty much it for it this week. Please let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. I know sometimes it takes me a while to respond to your comments, but please know that I absolutely appreciate every single comment that I get. And I truly enjoy that interaction that we have. Um, so yeah, please let me know if you have any thoughts. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying healthy, staying safe. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.